when you take a look at blender and what you can do as a 3d package you can't ignore the price tag which is zero dollars so how come an advanced 3d program such as blender is available to everyone for free no questions asked well to answer this question we need to understand a few things about blender and how it makes money number one ton rosendell is not interested in money Tom Rosendell is a co-founder of Blender and a chairman of the Blender Foundation. He was working at a 3D animation studio called Neo Geo back in the 80s and the 90s. In 1995, he rewrote the Neo Geo old animation tools and created what we now know as Blender and he wanted later to offer Blender for artists working outside of the studio he was working at at that time. In an interview with Andrew Price, also known as the Blender Guru, Ton clearly stated that he's not interested in money. How did you go from pursuing the money to then suddenly going like, f everything is free? What was, did, did something change in your... No, no but I, I, I was never interested in money. Money doesn't mean anything. It's not interesting. Mm -hmm. I call myself a maker. I want to make stuff. Uh, whether that's software or 3D or designs or building teams or companies or I want to make stuff. I, I, that's my passion. And the money is a means. And sometimes you need it to do something big. So you have to work, make money, and then you can do something with it. But the real satisfaction is in making something. Uh, that's uh, making blunder, I'm making the foundation, making books, I'm making the training DVDs and later on making the films. Mm -hmm. and, and doing a software business, and that was an option. I mean, after the bankruptcy, we, we also looked at, okay, maybe we can make Blender commercial and then do it very cheap, like for $50 or so, and uh, with two or three developers and continue it as a small company. Uh, but that's simply something I didn't like. Mm. Right. It would be too uninteresting. And then you had to sell software. It's boring. From this clip, we can see that Ton is a creative person who is not driven or motivated by financial aspects of the 3D animation software business because he loves developing software, creating companies, and software products for artists rather than pursuing money. Number two, Blender is a nonprofit organization. The Blender Foundation was created in 2002, which is an independent public benefit organization with the purpose to provide a complete, free, and open source 3D creation pipeline managed by the public projects on Blender.org. So, as a nonprofit organization, they can't sell Blender to users because of the nature of nonprofit, but they can make money through other means, which we will discuss in the last part of this video. In the summer of 2007, Ton Rosendahl established the Blender Institute, which permanently hosts the Foundation's offices and currently employs 15 people who work there to more efficiently organize the Blender Foundation goals, which are manage the facilities on the website for users and developers who want to contribute to Blender, maintain and improve the current Blender product via a public service accessible source code under the GNU General Public License. Establish funding or revenue mechanisms that serve the foundation's goal and cover the foundation's expenses and most importantly provide individual artists and small teams with a complete free and open source 3D creation pipeline. Number three, it was necessary to save Blender. Back in 2000, the NAN Not a Number, which is a company that Don Rosendell created after working at Neo Geo, received a whopping $5.5 million to further develop Blender. But due to disappointing sales and the ongoing difficult economic climate, the new investors decided to shut down all the NAN operations. The shutdown also included discontinuing the development of Blender. So he created a Blender Foundation to keep Blender alive because any type of development or project will definitely need money and some of them need a lot of money and they burn through it so fast if they have a lot of developers. And restarting the company with a large number of developers at that time was just not possible. 
so he decided to make Blender open source and available for the public, but first he needed the support of the community through the free Blender campaign, which sought to raise 100,000 euros so that the foundation could buy the rights to the Blender source code and intellectual property rights from the NAN investors. The 100,000 euros was raised in a few weeks, and that was the start of the relationship between Blender and the community of Blender 3D artists. In October 13th, 2002, Blender was released to the world under the terms of the GNU General Public License. Blender development continues to this date, driven by a team of dedicated volunteers from around the world, led by the Blender's original creator, Ton Rosendale. Now we're going to talk about how the Blender Foundation makes money to continue the development of Blender. Actually developing a complicated 3D software such as Blender takes a team effort and the more developers you hire, the more money you need. So the Blender Foundation created multiple methods and opportunities for people and corporations that want to contribute. Number one, Blender Cloud. Blender Cloud is Blender's open production platform where the Blender Institute makes and shares animation film projects. What you will get is animation and shot breakdowns, weekly or daily session recordings, film assets and full sets, shot walkthroughs and shaders, textures and much more. Blender Store. In Blender Store, you can purchase books, buy merch from shirts, hats and mugs, and the revenue they generate from the sales goes into creating more projects and software development. Development Fund. This is another method of supporting Blender Foundation. By joining the Development Fund, every member of the community can support the future of Blender, and members will get powerful software with new, groundbreaking features, stable software with good development support and quick bug fixes, and there are different badges for different members depending on the amount of the contribution. This development fund is right now at over $100,000 and the contributors are individuals and corporations as well. LF Objects is a corporation supporting the Blender Institute by hiring two people to work full-time on the UI and workflow topics for Blender, with a goal to deliver a release-compatible Blender 101 training material for occasional 3D users. Since October 2016, Tangent supported two Blender Institute devs full-time to work on the 2.8 viewport. They also hired their own Cycles developer team who will be contributing openly. Since the summer of 2016, AMD supports a developer to work on modernizing Blender OpenGL and a developer to work on Cycles OpenCL GPU rendering. NVIDIA also joined the Blender Foundation Development Fund this will enable two more developers to work on core Blender development and keep NVIDIA's GPU technology well supported for the Blender users. Also Ubisoft, which is a leading creator, publisher and distributor of interactive entertainment and services with rich portfolio of video games like Assassin's Creed, Tom Clancy's video game series, Far Cry and Watch Dogs, announced that they will join the Blender Foundation Development Fund as a corporate gold member. Not only will Ubisoft help funding online support for Blender developers, Ubisoft Animation Studio, which is a department of Ubisoft Film Television, will also use Blender for their productions and assign developers to contribute to the Blender's open source projects. Piero Jacke, head of production at Ubisoft Animation Studio, says, Blender was for us an obvious choice. It's a strong and engaged community paired up with the vision carried by the Blender Foundation, makes it one of the most creative of the market. Blender founder and chairman Ton Rosendale said, Good news keep coming. It's such a miracle to witness the industry jumping on board with us. I've always admired Ubisoft as one of the leading games and media producers in the world. I look forward to work with them and help them find their ways as a contributor to our open source projects on Blender.org. Epic Games, the creator of Fortnite, and Real, Gears of War, Shadow Complex, and the Infinity Blade series of games awarded the Blender Foundation 1.2 million in cash as part of the company's 100 million Epic Mega Grants program to further the success and the development of Blender. Ton Rosendale said, 
Having Epic Games on board is a major milestone for Blender. Thanks to the grant, we will make significant investment in our project organization to improve onboarding, coordination, and best practices for code quality. As a result, we expect more contributors from the industry to join our project. Tim Sweeney, founder and CEO of Epic Games said, Open tools, libraries, and platforms are critical to the future of the digital content. Blender is an enduring resource within the artistic community, and we aim to ensure its advancement to the benefit of all creators. This form of support is very important for Blender allowing a team of full-time software engineers to focus on developing and maintaining a stable and well-documented code base. This is the foundation for any new feature or improvement and it is essential for the survival and the growth of the project. The community is the driving force behind Blender development. For over 15 years, Blender has been an excellent example of public and community-driven projects, enabling millions of users to create 3D content with a free tool. I hope this video was informative and taught you something about why Blender is free. You can tell us what you think in the comment section below and also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.